guys, it is the Arctic Star AJ here. Today I'm going to be starting an Animal Jam clan. Do you see this pie chart? This is the breed of wolves and other things that come in this pack. As you see, there are no rabbits. No rabbits. The long snouts, which are the most common. Short muzzles, which are the next most common. Pure bloods, which are the third to the rarest. Half bloods, which are the second to the least common. And then there's the mutations. This is only a 1% chance of you getting this wolf as your character. The long snout. The most common of the Arctic clan's members. They are the most common, but also have special abilities that the others don't have. They have an unbeatable speed, usually able to catch up with most Thompson Gazelle. They have long, thin muzzles, giving them their name. They also seem to look underfed, but this is the way they are built to achieve their incredible speeds. They usually come in colors of light blue, all shades of brown, some th shades of orange, black, white, gray, but may rarely be a, be a neon color, such as red or green. Their hunting tactic is usually to chase prey into an ambush. The ambushers are usually short muzzles and pure bloods. You're so goofy, but money anyways. <laughs> the short muzzles. The second most common of the Arctic clan's members. They are big and mean and fearless. They charge into attack without question. This has its benefits as well as its downside. Their bravery earns them respect within the clan, but also gains them pain when their bravery gets them into trouble. They come in the colors as normal wolves and dogs do, but the only neon color they come in is a terribly ugly purple. The best color for your short muzzle is brown with light brown freckles, letting them ambush their prey in a way that is easier for them because of their camo color. The hunting tactic is usually to stay hidden until the jackal-like long snouts chase prey into the Arctic clan's clever trap. The usual size for one of these beasts is 283 pounds. 3 feet tall at the shoulder, and 4 to 5 feet long. The Pure Bloods. Often thought to be perfect in every way possible, they, get, they gain great fame for being just that. They are great liars, very tricky, and absolutely beautiful. <coughs> they resemble the wolves of Yellowstone National Park in every way. They come in every color possible, but normal wolf colors are recommended. They are also extremely fierce and loyal, and would much rather kill themselves than betray one of their members. If your pure blood is more on the gentle side, their fur be white. If they are in all means a perfectly normal wolf, their fur be bears the color of all grays blended in a perfect mixture. Now this is a half blood. The half-bloods usually possess that super- That looks freaking fake. I know, it's because it's just a darn role-playing game, nine-year-old. <laughs> now, get out. <laughs> the half-bloods usually possess supernatural powers, usually fire, earth, water, and air. Wolves without wings or horns, usually water and fire elements, get upset easily. I thought these bulls were real. Oh, this shut up. They find it hilarious when the fool who gets them angry cries for dear life when the element wolf bursts into flames or water and starts yelling, but rarely death threats. Otherwise, they resemble pure bloods in every way possible. Next is the forbidden race, the mutations. Mutations, more commonly known as the Forbidden Ones, are extremely rare and usually runts when born. They usually are small and weak and feed off their mother's milk for a very long time, for years even. After they are no longer able to feed from their mothers, they usually get very, very sad and commit suicide. Did if, you write all this? Yes. If, if they somehow live on, they try to start hunting. They usually find hunting alone very easy, very quickly. 
Most of these great hunters usually start wondering what their own kind feels to hunt. Make sure to check out my channel. Okay. They otherwise resemble <laughs> dire coyotes when young and great black dire wolves once they accomplish killing another wolf of their clan. This, however, is almost impossible unless they take a weaker wolf hunting with them, such as a young plup, pl pup, <laughs> and convince the small pup to start attacking a beast the mutant wouldn't even attack itself. Uh, you made me lose my place. That's my job. When the small wolf... Uh. Gunner got 55 points, not 5. 50. Uh. To spend. On when the stuff. small wolf is near death, they appear to attempt to drag the small wolf away from danger by a few feet. Then they kill it mercilessly. They only come in dark colors such as black, dark gray, dark brown, and so on. Please don't make a neon green wolf. Please don't. It's gonna end to my gory demise. But anyways, this is the character sheet. I created this to keep track of your character. The Arctic Clan. She two of the Arctic Clan. I don't know how an idiot cannot solve this. But anyways... You are to take these 50 points and spend the, and spend the points here in strength, charisma, wisdom, agility, and d endurance. Strength is how strong your wolf will be, and we'll give them luck. They know what strength is. I'm denying it for people who are so stupid they can't even say pretzel. <laughs> you cracked me up. But pretzel. strength. Okay, shut up for a second. Strength, how strong your wolf will be. Charisma, how beautiful. There you go. Wisdom, how good of decisions they may make in the future. Um. Okay, there's a deadly disease going. Intelligence. No. Oops, I made a tootie. No, wisdom is not intelligence. They're two completely different things. But wisdom is like, okay, there's a disease. There's a disease going on. What should I do? People like are saying, story. Like, yeah, they're making the best decision. Wisdom is making the best decision. Intelligent experience with something. Higher intelligence. What if be your the butt cheeks were just one whole butt cheek? Oh, that'd be creepy. But in your intelligence is how smart you are. Agility is how fast you are, and endurance is how much damage you can take. Not afraid to spit I will fit a, I will fill out everything else. Well, except your name. Do not do the breed. If you do the breed, then you're done for, and you can't join the pack. Or you can just erase it and let me do it. It's because it won't be fair if I let everyone cho if I let some people choose and I let other people not choose. I didn't even get to choose my own breed. I was stuck with a half blood. I wanted a mutation because they're cool and they're runts and they're like lonely and they have a dramatic backstory and everything. I'm a mutation. You're not dork. I am in real life. Rawr. But you see the experience here. So. To level up, you only need to get one of these, but when you get to level 2, you need to get two of the experience, what I call level points. So, level points is a powerful substance by doing daring acts or other such things. Arctic Star holds a ceremony to reward you with a level point. You feel much more powerful if, if you level up. You get 50 points to spend on your stats when you level up. Your experience is changed to a zero, but your level goes up by one. Okay. Okay, I'm not making this too complicated, am I? But here's what a normal character sheet look, should look like. Of if course, you have a mess up, just... Of course, I've made menu. myself level 20 to help the pack and aid to them. But that's only for Cheater, caring for other you made people. yourself higher. But here's an example Good. of a level point. I only have 19 out of 20. The maximum level right now is 20 with 19 points out of 20. Once you reach level 21, I was thinking about being able to use magic powers. But that's it for right now. Bye, guys. And have fun creating your own character character i will try to add the links to these pictures in the description below so you may create your new awesome wolf